Well, in a lot of respects, I think this was one of the best speeches he's ever given. It was amazing to me how articulate he was. He was very comfortable with the script. He was, uh, you know, animated, articulate, uh, forceful. And I think it came because he got the speech started way back in December, which is a very different matter than what his father did. He had a theme in the speech. Generally, State of the Unions are just this long laundry list of issues and uh, you know, no coherence at all, no unity to the speech. This one had a very sound and solid unity all the way through. He talked about trusting the people and empowering the people. And obviously, by those two themes, he was trying to establish himself as a conservative and also as a compassionate conservative to link trusting with empowering equals compassion. Every single issue that he addressed was built around the theme of trusting and uh, empowering the people. Uh, sometimes I think it got to be too much. But it did, I think, reinforce the fact that he wants to be known as a compassionate conservative. And uh, that came through, whether you were talking about domestic issues or foreign policy issues. In terms of State of the Union speeches, much more effective than is typical. In terms of President Bush's speeches, far more effective than usual. The biggest challenge that the president faced last night was overcoming all the noise out in the culture. He had to fight against uh, his own uh, polls. Three out of four people think the country is not doing very well. He had to counter all the uncertainty with the presidential elections for 2008. Uh, you know, neither party has a front runner, and so here he is, you know, uh, with all of that uncertainty and all the tension directed toward the next year's election, coming up with the State of the Union, his final State of the Union. So all sorts of things out there in the culture that would capture people's attention. So uh, the statistics about who was going to watch the speech last night were just dismal. I think he did as well as could be expected in that regard uh, by being forceful, by having the unity of the theme, and by uh, looking forward rather than back. He did an excellent job of balancing his own agenda, which has not been very successful with the fact that Congress has not been willing to work with him. And he came back time and time again to say, this is what I have proposed, you've rejected that, now you tell me what you're going to do. And so placing the burden on the Congress, I thought was a very good move, and he did that very well. In terms of us as conservatives, um, the president did hit our issues uh, on the two major things that we care about, uh, judges. He was very strong in saying, you know, I have appointed judges and it's up to you to give them a vote up or down. Very strong challenge back to the Congress as he had done on other issues as well. And this is a place where we have to give this president credit. Uh, there are times when we are critical of what the president has done and times when we feel like he has let us down. But in terms of judicial appointments, he has been spot on. And that will change the face of America. And so in terms of his legacy, this is probably the most important thing that the president has done. In terms of pro-life issues, the president very clearly uh, took a stand on both cloning and stem cell research. And of course, he was able to brag a bit and be a bit smug because he's been proven right on that issue. He said, we are not going to cross a moral line in our commitment to use stem cells. And he advocating using adult, adult stem cells rather than embry embryonic stem cells. And now the research has shown that we can use adult stem cells and we have found ways through scientific process to have them uh, mimic the same uh, characteristics uh, as the embryonic stem cells. So the president has proved right <laughs> in that issue. So uh, on those two issues uh, that are so important to us as social conservatives, he came through loud and clear. One of the things conservatives will be very happy to hear, the president talked about school vouchers and school choice last night. He didn't call it that, he called it Pell Grants for Kids. But uh, I think the public will pretty soon discover that what he was referring to was the ability of students who live in ghetto areas to go to schools that are more uh, academically acceptable and provide better educational opportunities for kids. So in effect, he was promoting school choice. 
place. And uh, that's something that I think conservatives will be very happy to hear about. And it will be interesting to see what Congress does with that proposal and uh, how the Pell Grants for Kids actually works out. He also took a strong stance on immigration and um, talked about the need to increase our protection of our borders. He did not emphasize that in a way that I think will be satisfying to the social conservatives. He did not talk about the fence. He didn't talk about the need to really not have porous borders and that, you know, as a solid commitment to the American public. And he talked about assimilation. So for him, he was just as committed to uh, protecting the people who are here already illegally as he was to protecting the borders to keep more illegals from coming in. The president really stressed uh, the need for the economic stimulus package that he has worked so hard on recently. I think this is something that all of America is interested in seeing. Uh, there's a lot of fear out there right now that we're going to have a recession, and so the stimulus package is needed. The president stressed that this is in the hands of Congress now, and they've got to make the tax cuts permanent and uh, got tremendous applause for that, a standing ovation from the Republican side of the House and some support from the Democratic side. So there is general uh, enthusiasm about what this is going to do. Um, he was very clear he will veto any earmarks that come to his desk. That was good news for those of us who are conservative and think that this kind of wasteful spending has to be addressed. And in fact, he talked about the fact that we have been too wasteful in our, all the spending in Congress and that this has to stop. So in terms of physical, physical accountability, uh, the president was very strong on that. And uh, I think the American public were very happy to hear about that. I think the president had a wonderful opportunity with this particular State of the Union, uh, with his approval rating so low, and with him being seen as uh, a lame duck president, he very effectively utilized that bully pulpit, I think, to cement those things that he has done well, to list all the many wonderful achievements that the Bush administration has uh, reached and the goals that they have uh, accomplished. I think he did an excellent job of uh, reiterating those things, reminding the American public that there are there's a strong record of accomplishment there for the administration. He also, I think, um, utilized all the pomp and circumstance to say, I'm here, these are the things I have done, hang in there with me, we're going to keep going, we're not going to rest on our laurels, we're not going to go away, slink away in defeat, instead we're going to use the next year, and he said this uh, pretty strongly, we're going to use the next year to continue accomplishing those things for which we were elected. And I think he was quite effective in sending that message out to the, the American public.